applause for BC NDP leader David Eby as he announces his party's plans to try to hold on to power. The priority needs to be British Columbia families, and I'll stand with them every single time. A $1.6 billion promise, the party is pledging low-cost before and after school care across B.C., a $1,000 tax cut for the average family, free off-peak transit for seniors and more affordable housing. Uh, it's tough out there right now for lots of people. Global inflation, making things more expensive for people. Interest rates rising the fastest in a generation. The NDP says it plans to spur more rental home construction through a new municipal fund, waive property taxes for new purpose-built rental projects and allow pets in all purpose-built rentals. The party is also making big promises around health care. We are projecting by the end of 2025 that every single person who wants to be connected to a family doctor or a nurse practitioner will be through our Health Connect registry. The NDP also wants to build the province's first addiction treatment centre specifically for construction workers. EB's main opponents are not impressed. And we have a, a platform from the NDP that really says we're going to keep doing more of the same. We have to bring common sense back to British Columbia so that people once can once again be proud to be in this province building their future. The NDP platform comes as a new Lege poll shows the party behind the B.C. Conservatives by three percentage points, with voting day just over two weeks away. Yasmin Ghanaya, CBC News, Vancouver.